Throughout history, man has proven time and time again that its influences on the world should be solely confined to the folding and sorting of handkerchiefs, and should just leave the rest of nature to its own devices. Take the magnificent Dodo, for example. Once a streamlined and agile aeronaut, it was rendered flightless due to the species' captivation, overfeeding, and subsequent obesity during the mid-17th century. Uh. This inevitably resulted in their extinction, as they became so lethargic in temperament that they lost any inclination to procreation whatsoever. One of the last species of plesiosaur, once a common sight amongst grazing herds of cattle in the Scottish Highlands, has since been bullied into hiding by local teens who would tip the magnificent creature over whilst it slept. And the less said of man's influence on the once mighty and fearsome goldfish, the better. Such is the tale of the swamp mollusk. Once a thriving species, it is now all but extinct due to the imposition of introduced species on their habitat. Sadly, the number of swamp mollusks existing in the wild are only eight. The swamp mollusk goes through a metamorphosis similar to that of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly though with one very unique difference. Unlike common metamorphosis, where the insect or animal goes through a larvae, pupa, and adult stage, the swamp mollusk is born as a pupa. Being concealed within a protective cocoon, it lives out the first stages of its life in this state before it renders itself dormant and finally emerges in its adult form. Though the swamp mollusk has very limited dexterity, it is nonetheless exceedingly capable of taking down small prey, such as the blue tongue lizard. Having no means by which to devour its prey, the swamp mollusk will repeatedly bounce on its victim until the carcass is in such a state that it can be absorbed through the tiny pores in the mollusk's outer husk. Three days before dormancy, and the swamp mollusk has been experiencing difficulty in finding ample food. It appears a large animal has entered the mollusk's territory, and has depleted many of the larger sources of food, such as small lizards and mice. Though normally undaunted by this lack of food, this complication proves to be a critical problem for the swamp mollusk and its upcoming metamorphosis. It continues to search for a substantial meal, finding only the occasional grasshopper or beetle. But as venturing too far from its nest would use vital energy, the mollusk returns and settles in for the night. Early during the 5th century, there emerged such an evolutionary anomaly that spawned from a naturally occurring hybrid common in East Asia, that it was revered by some as the incarnation of the devil. Coming into existence when the wild Mongolian rabbits began shifting their habitats to the bamboo forests of China, the panda rabbit is considered one of the worst things to have ever happened in the history of the planet, surpassed only by the Second World War, the Ten Plagues of Egypt, and the time young Geoffrey Hill tried to make a cake for his mother on Mother's Day whilst she was still in bed. As the panda rabbit epidemic reached plague proportions, the Chinese dynasty of the time moved to construct a great wall separating Mongolia from China in order to keep the rabbits out. To relieve China of this feral menace, Chinese trade ships exported these creatures to just about every corner of the globe, often passing its ill-tasting meat off as a delicacy when deep-fried or steamed. A serious threat to any habitat, the panda rabbit will hunt just about anything it can get its mouth around.
a formidable creature in its own right. The panda rabbit poses the swamp mollusk a much greater threat, as during its 13-day metamorphosis phase, the swamp mollusk is rendered completely vulnerable, a situation the panda rabbit would take full advantage of. With the immediate onset of its turning dormant, the swamp mollusk wastes no time in asserting its dominance over its territory. the swamp mollusk devours what will be its last meal as a pupa. Settling back into its nest, the swamp mollusk falls into a dormant state. Soon, it will emerge from its husk in its adult form. The swamp mollusk's nest lays abandoned, Although the form of the adult swamp mollusk has never been witnessed, it is a common speculation that the mollusk emerges as a bird or other being capable of flight, as there is never any markings or tracks leading from the nest. Though the mysteries of man's surroundings continue to baffle and confuse him, in much a similar way that relatively simple things do, there is comfort to be taken in the acknowledgement that rare and majestic beings, such as the swamp mollusk, still exist in a world so very, very stuffed by the hands of man. <laughs>